Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the live Facebook. Thank you for coming tonight as we continue from pretty much where we left off during the Chinese New Year. And many of you may have aware we have launched a new feature of for the at least for the January 2023. I think many of you have known and already taken effect. And we also thank you for some of you who has been on the so-called borderline uh, of taking up the uh, VSA 360 subscription and finally decided to become a member of our trade VSA community. I'd like to wish you a great welcome to our community where we all pull our resources together and even learn more. And definitely tonight, I just want to showcase some of the tools that we find very, very useful. And we find it that uh, it will help you with a little bit of maybe brief explanation into how our things are looking into it. Especially right now, we may have a post Chinese New Year rally and this is all it's all about in here. So appreciate those of you who have joined us tonight. Do share this video in your timeline and we will get started. And I want to finish also this within 45 minutes and some of you may have questions and then we can ponder upon that. So really appreciate if you could take this video and share it among your friends and do let us know where you're listening from in here. So it also helps us to know in that way the context. And thank you very much for your support. We really appreciate your patronage and let's get started, shall we? Welcome, welcome to the first live FB, right? After the Chinese New Year. And we all know the Chinese New Year, I've said before, usually many people talk about, hey, Martin, you talk about Chinese New Year, but I've noticed most of the time, immediately after Chinese New Year, the market might just fail. And it did last Friday, right? We have a big sell-off, which is down 12 points. Why are you talking about how to capitalize on this current trend, especially we are on the first day of February. And of course, today is a non-trading day because it is a federal territory day. So it's a public holiday elsewhere in Singapore, Hong Kong, and US has been trading too. So I want to talk about the post-Chinese New Year rally. And somehow that our indicator are showing there is a possibility that this market rally can continue. So let's look on to the facts that is presented in here. And I'm your host, Martin Mo. And tonight's sharing, we'll be talking about how to get yourself prepared and the kind of strategy that you really need to really push forward for this Chinese 2023. I'm going to show you a couple of stocks which have real great potential in here. And of course, we're going to combine it with one of our latest market indicator, the Insider Buying and Selling Guide, which will help you to better prepared and also take a look at what has happened in the past and how can we translate this in the post coming especially uh, in the this month of February uh, of 2023 and of course we already agreed year 2023 is a year of moderation where we are you know uh, trying to recover back what all the grounds that we have lost no doubt for the year 2022 i have lost money to be frank with you in here and this hasn't been easy but i do know uh, i'm resilient in the market as long as we keep our heads cool we have the right to the right education and more importantly the right psychology to trade into this market i think we will stand a chance do you agree on that if you do give us a thumbs up in here and i do hope that Whatever we're sharing with you tonight will take you to the next level in here, all right? Especially uh, for those of you uh, who are using the VSA 362, we thank you for your support. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel in here. We hope to reach our 5,000 mark quickly. And I uh, do hope they can share that in here. And of course, last uh, uh, two weeks before, uh, that we talk about whether the market's either going to crash or going to boom. And I think I prepared some very informational, educational tips to get you all prepared up. You know, if it's a boom, what are you likely to do? If it's a crash, what do you do? So we're just going to continue from where we uh, um, sort of left off. And I do feel that we likely to have a boom, but take note, this boom may not last uh, very long. I'm going to give you the facts in here. It's also due to the usually our KLFCI trend doesn't trend that much. But we will take a look at the facts presented by looking at some of our big brother, our regional market in here. Of course, having said that, let's get started. How well, or, or at least for the month of January have been, uh, after all, we know we have almost uh, four weeks of 
complete trading for the for the month of uh, January in here. So far, the January 2023, depending which market you look at it, definitely if you are from the KLCI, just trading the main market in here. The KLCI has been somewhat almost unchanged, but of course, if you trade some of those uh, penny stocks or less than one ringgit stocks you using our intraday alert as well as our uh, trial basis for some of our members the top 30 volume indicator i think you have probably banged into some couple of good stocks in here now if you look in terms of the u.s market that's one that have done very very well the u.s market compared to last year nasdaq lost 33 percent yeah but for the month of uh, january it has make up for this ground 10.6 percent now i'm going to share with you also an information in here and i think the nasdaq has a bit more room to go higher of course it doesn't go up in a straight line it does goes up it a bit come down it goes up in coming down i think the most important is learning some of these setup right so you are able to buy on the on the dip in here and that's what is it really all about and if you look from that uh, Dow was down 8%, so so far it's only make up 2.6% up. S&P was down minus 19% for year 2022 and it's made up for 6%. So I'm going to share with you going on some of the evidence that we have may point to 2023 by the time we get to December. Hopefully by the time you watch this uh, uh, again during December, some of the things I say here be, be true. HSI and also SGX the Singapore Street Time Index is up 3.3%, whereas you know, our market still has some room, in my opinion here, right, to play catch up. So the KLCI likely to play catch up, just like previously before I've talked about NASDAQ. NASDAQ was always been the lagging to the Dow Jones and of course NASDAQ being the technology stock, which does drive many of your portfolio. Those of you who are listening have a lot of tech stocks, right? So you will probably see this also moving up eventually in here. Let's only see this tomorrow when the market open. Now, uh, a recent report that I came across from MIDF that talks about the FBM KLCI may hit 1,700 for 2023 and mid cap stocks huh, are surging ahead of the US Fed meeting, which is actually happening tonight. Uh, I think on the Wednesday night, uh, where the Euron Power will give his 30 minute speech on the decision of the Fed whether it is a pause or it is interest rate, many people are predicting a, 20, uh, a 225 basis point hike in the US market, but we have seen in Malaysia, so far they have not decided to hike in here. But what is really stopping our KLCI now, and those of you who have the VSA 360 will see on top of me here, let me just get back here, right? You will notice this red line which is just above my head here these are negative outflow so you can see as long as negative outflow right that is going to prevent this market from potentially moving higher and that that's what we always talk about we need this kind of big push from foreign funds as long as we have it in here that one's going to go up so that's why you see early on for the month of january so far the klci is only up minus or 0.6 percent almost unchanged from where we left out and this is also due to the or a psychological level the 1500 level but i do believe once we can crack that 1500 and it's been there for almost a month in here and likelihood we did see a sell-off on friday the 11 points down but the market may make it up and let's see tomorrow how the market is going to be all is going to point into tonight whether the stock market will collapse due to the 25 basis point uh, which is uh, tend to uh, be incorporated into the US Fed funds. We want to see that is either happening or not. But right now, a lot of things are still pointing upwards. Even as we speak before, I'm going to share you with the overall background and picture so you have the better. Now, the good news is two consecutive down years. Okay, two consecutive down years is very rare for the US market. And we only have to a few occasions since then. It's very rare. It's only happened four times in the last 80 to 90s. This is just like they say, the big flood. Huh? Sometimes, you know, uh, you'll notice depending where you stay, especially in Klang Valley during the December month, I think last year there was a big flood. They said this hasn't happened, you know, in the last maybe 90 to 100 years, but it did came when it came, it was pretty badly hit. So most of the time when it rains, 
generally people say that even though it rains, it might not flood, no? but take note, it only happened four times uh, in the last 80 to 90 years. So what I mean was that if 2022 was a down year for the US market in this context, so 2023 was a down year too. If 2023 is a down year, then it's going to get worse on the third year. And that's where we slip into a longer term recession. Now, depending on who you listen to, who are the toots, uh, are the doomsday is talking about. But let me present the facts. Also looking at the chart in here. Chart is the best because people lies, chart don't lies. Okay, that's all we always say before in here. Now, if you look on the S&P return the next year after one bad year, we're going to, you know, peel back to uh, going back to 1974 and 1975 as well as the year when the S&P 500 was doing very, very bad. And this kind of give you a market where it is. But understanding this, then you will probably have uh, what we call an stock market enlightenment. Huh? <laughs> we call it stock market enlightenment where you will see things differently from uh, if what I say is quite true, give me a thumbs up in here. And I do hope that some of you may have questions uh, just pencil in there or if you just prefer to listen to me uh, giving you the facts and you can enjoy it, that's good too. And do share this video in your timeline. So if you look back on the year where there was a bad, it was a down year. And like what I've said before, S&P was down, how many percent S&P? If you go back, it is down 19%, okay? So statistically, I know this is not right, but we just want to get a gauge where we are. If you look back to 1974, it was down 26%, right? And then immediately, the year after that, right, it's up 37%, almost double. And uh, year 2022, this is where we talk about the three consecutive year in 74 and 73, right? If it's a down here, it's just going to get worse, like uh, 2000. So usually, if you're down pretty bad, right, like 37%, in, of course, we all know 2008, it was a financial crisis in here, right? And because of the financial crisis in here, the market rebound back very, very fast, okay? The market rebound back very fast. So what we are seeing right now in here is a likelihood uh, of a rebound, okay? And you can see from here onwards, uh, 1975 was 37%. 203 was 28% rebound and 209 is 26% rebound. Why I bring your attention to S&P 500? Because the KLC market is pretty much dependent, uh, dependent as I said before, on foreign funds flow. So you can see from the VSA 360 for some of the member who have access to it, are seeing that foreign funds, if they don't flow in, you're not going to have this kind of very, very predictable uh, US market, the kind of return after one bad year, another year. So that's why, as I said before, why don't you diversify to the US market? And meanwhile, in the Malaysian market, there are a couple of ways I'm going to share with you a few strategies for the post Chinese year 2023 strategy. So make sure you stick on to the end of this session in here. But for most of it, you can see January 23, the S&P 500 is already up 6.2% just for the month of January. And if that's the case to go, we are likely to hit above 20% for year 2023. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to be, but these are the projection at least for the month of February. So if you're going to rewind back uh, by the time you subscribe to the YouTube, you're watching this, uh, hopefully what I've said, this will probably come true in there. And if you do, just buy me a coffee next time when we see up in here. And these are the kind of information I'd like to share with you. So just don't go on and listen to some guru and, and con considering saying this and that without giving you much facts. I think that's very important uh, at the end of the day, right? If I say this true, just uh, give me another thumbs up in here. It's also good to get some sort of engagement from the people, uh, the kind of market that you are seeing here. And hopefully my video uh, will give you some insight to where we are heading to. Now, of course, the inflation is coming down. This is from a Bloomberg in here. The target of the US FOMC is 2%. As you can see before, uh, 2014, 16, 17, it's always been 2%. But because of the re Russian and Ukraine war, that may not get it down to 2%. The Feds, at the end of the day, have to be very, very realistic coming into the market. So a lot of people are forecasting at 4 or 4.5%. If that's the case, keeping it at 4 or 4.5%, maybe just bring it down slightly below 4 then the Feds is already on target. Okay, now the Fed's already, there. but of course, if you look at the minutes, that's what everyone is waiting for the meeting minutes tonight. They're saying, hey, look, our target, the Fed's target is still 
2%, it's not 4%, not 4.5%. But maybe they will come to real realization that hitting 2% is not realistic considering you know, so many things has changes in here. And if they do stick to 4 or 4.5% or, or just slightly below 4%, that means the interest rate will pause. And that's why you are seeing Nasdaq will rebound back. So far, you can see Nasdaq rebounded 10%. And, and if you look back, one bad year, the next year return is 30%. So who knows? It might just go up another 30% in here. So don't give up on your US share, that, especially some of you who have uh, bought them at the very high price. And generally, they are you know sort of very good companies, still making money, not the kind of crap company that we talk about here. Now, on the 10-year perspective, S&P 500 is still good. Again, this is from Bloomberg in here. Uh, the 2022 bear market does very little to hurt the long-time bull. If you take it in a 10-year period, the, the return in 10 years, not just one year or two years or three years, right? As I said before, worst case, you have three bad years and then the rest seven years are good year. So you shouldn't take judgment from just one or two years. The, the reason why a lot of people fail is that they only have uh, maybe like six month time frame and then eventually they, they leave it and then by the stock market goes up again. So a lot of time, the long term investment that I always talk about are generally try to write in the 10 year perspective. Of course, some people already say in a year of internet 10 year is very long here but if you live as long as i do right by keeping healthy eating right right you want to be healthy and wealthy when you get to a certain age and that's why 10 years is actually not a very long year in here especially you allow the market to compound so if you look from this in here um the average uh 10 year return is above 10 percent. you can see from in here there were only few occasion back down in here most of the time 2010 to 2019 these are all positive return right as high up to about uh 18 percent in here and of course previously you saw some of the charts that i have there also show you the kind of return uh we were looking at in here and that sort of give you a perspective of the market and why are things we are looking at always try to have a uh, longer inf uh, infant. Now, one of the reasons why S&P continue to do so well, just like any KLCI, because S&P 500, it contains all the top 500 companies that are well performing and performing. And because of that, these companies tend to be uh, add in or been removed. Those good company, the good company, they stay on. It's like uh, what we call, uh, uh, when you remember in secondary school, you have the top class, right? It could be an A class and the A class, if you don't do well in the A class, you get removed just like the uh, football first, uh, what we call the uh, Premier League. Huh? The, I think we are very familiar with the English League, right? So you don't do well on the Premier League, you get removed and you, you adjourn to the second league. So in the same way, the S&P 500, the earnings is the same. So all those good companies are put into the five top 500 companies in US, which at least have $2 billion in uh, market cap. And you can see why S&P is performing is because year to year, their earnings are growing, okay? You can see the year dips back on the great financial crisis and then 2020 dips. So we also have a dipping, a small dip way back then. And we want to see whether this dip on the S&P 500 will continue to the downwards. But right now, as you can see, uh, the projection, uh, it's from 10, uh, uh, sorry, uh, 10, this is supposed to be in, Send okay to about close to about 187 okay 187 in here so what we have presented in here so far we have seen the market return one bad year is this a sign of more market crashing coming what do you think let me know pencil those in there crash or boom all right pencil i want to hear what do you think inside there and the audience reply in here will give me a kind of indication whether so far the evidence and the fact that are presented in here is causing the market to crash more or to crash less. So in many ways, the KLCI, if what we presented in here, will likely to play catch up to what we have seen so far in here. Now, the funny thing is about, about the stock market is that, remember, there's always be a buyer for every seller. And this is from the weather feathers, right? Both of them think they are right. If I sell a stock, I think I'm right. Then for the person to buy a stock, I think it's right. So it's always a perspective a time frame where you look at interesting isn't it so keep that in mind in here now if you look from here the klci are uh, using the future index we have broken through 
the 200 day moving average there but finally yeah we have the big sell-off and this is due to interest maybe this red pentagon is a warning that we have seen in here but if the market were to reverse the next day then eventually we'll see it turn green pentagon very soon so that's what we are looking at but on the klci uh cash market it is still green pentagon on the blue trend zone but on the future side we have seen it turn red right but it's staying above the 200 day moving average which is very important to show and the, the last time where it, it it held out to be a resistant was in uh, uh early september uh 2022 then it tried to crack in in December when the uh, 10 Prime Minister uh, Datuk Sri Anwar was appointed. That was a big move. Cracked through the 200 day and pops back up. Then on last year rally, remember, we have the year end rally. Hit through, form an up trust and then fall back in here. And then early this year finally broke through. This is a very, very convincing but definitely don't have the kind of oom. Why? Because foreign funds is not coming in. This is just that the pricing in of a slightly market boom is already in and right now this red pentagon that you see on top is the first flush of the sellers uh, they will try to flush out all the uh, buyers in here so it can move higher in all right so keep that now if you look at it from the perspective of the US market and finally when it broke through here right the market came back to below 200 and then broke through and then this is where the convincing the two bar reversal all right, the two bar reversal and we want to see something like that maybe tomorrow should the market foreign funds coming back we have this nice two bar reversal then the market push up and these are the kind of evidence we want to keep an eye to convince us that the market is going because a lot of the facts the background noise is pushing up in here now we get on to the overall picture first before we get down to the stocks is that okay all right and this is how we want to get those information to you and by then then you will have a better perspective how this market is going to be up in here now do give me a comment what do you think is the market is going to go higher and lower i want to see your comment over there and i appreciate it also give us a thumbs up in here so we are working hard in the trade vsa cycle in here again the stock is also trading above the 200 day moving average now one of the new things that we have and uh, for the at least for the January month of 2023 is our insider buy and sell a guided chart which is available and so far I've done a couple of tests and placed a few trades in here and they are looking very very promising in here I used to use this a lot when I was an institutional uh, fund manager in here every time when I buy any stocks I will look at the insider buying but I do note that some of these are very good for those uh, penny stocks and those stocks they have some sort of potential or maybe in uh, in the red box coming out with it. I'm going to share with you some of the in here but before we get that let's go on why part and parcel of volume spread analysis it's also following this smart money but we call it the insider buy and sell which is actually available on VSA 360. Now a little bit of facts in here this is from the context of the US market so you can see on the left hand side the number of trades uh, which means enforcer uh, that people who do a lot of what we call uh, normal trading, uh, not the insider trading, right? They are brought forward and action is taken forward and that's on the increasing in here. But you look at the insider information in US perspective, no one ever get caught because insider information trading is allowed, especially in the US Congress in here. So there's a, that's another topic for another day. Right, I will talk about it, but you can see the average return for insider purchase. Those people, right, who have uh, indirectly in the company, the CEO, the director, or other officers tend to beat the market compared to uh, the other 10% stakeholder in here. So it does prove you if you have some sort of insider buying, buying when the CEO is buying and selling, you will benefit. I and mean, definitely, this is quite true also from the US contact. Uh, so, also true from the KLSCI uh, context in here. But what is insider buying or insider trading? Now, you have to differentiate that uh, insider trading in Malaysia context is considered market manipulation, which is totally illegal, right? It's totally illegal. Whereas insider buying and selling, you are basing on public information using proper procedure. This is where we come in looking at the disclosure requirement where the company believe if the company is doing well, they will buy some if your company not doing well are uh, not doing well they will sell some and that's the whole uh, proceed to it in here 
Now on the disclosure requirement uh, uh, part of the Company Act 2016, they, they talk about section 137. All right, there's another section for penalty failure to disclosure. But let's talk about section 137, shareholder of 5% and above. Okay, now in the US context is 10%, in Malaysia is only 5%. So generally, people who have interest of 5% or more, especially with voting rights of a Malaysia incorporated public company, whether listed or unlisted, to disclose their interest to the relevant public company and to CCM. You can also go to the Busa Malaysia website to follow this. And with that itself, these people who buy the stake, and more importantly, we are interested in big amount when company director pay about 1 million, 2 million, 200,000, 500,000, rather than you and me buy 5,000, buy 10,000, buy 20,000 on a share, right? These people will buy uh, maybe millions of 500,000 or 200. So these are substantial amount and that's why they are likely to be the CEO, directors, business owner and company partner. After all, if you don't believe that the company can do well, would you put your money into it? And that's always the case is, right? Because these people who buy into it, especially we call it the insider, the smart money strategy, right? They know what's going on. And that's why they take up a stake of 5% in here. Now, on the penalty side, failure to disclose uh, this uh, threshold crossing in here is subjected to $1 million fine. $1 million fine per transaction, okay? And failure and they need to disclose within seven days all right keep note so any of their buying and selling need to happen within seven days and failure to that this they have to pay one million dollar fine now of course this kind of information is very popular in the US where learning where insider are buying is just like important a buying decision. So if you look into this kind of chart like a table, just looking at one or two CV uh, of, of transaction, that doesn't tell you a picture. Now we all know learning from Tom Williams, the creator of Volume where he was a syndicate trader. Those of you who don't know, you can follow up his story. He talks about smart money always having a what we call a campaign a smart money operator always have a campaign right they started by generating certain news which which is either positive or negative to push or down the shares and this is where they try to buy at what we call stage one accumulation in here so it's very important that we find out the transaction date and huh? the transaction date where it happened coincide with the price and volume action in terms of what we call volume spread analysis. So it's very important we place those transaction date on the chart itself rather than just looking at table like this, which is in my opinion, fairly inclusive. Uh, sorry inconclusive so there's no advantages in knowing this kind of information you may know one time yes he buy 10 million but you didn't know what he do remember smart money uh, it's not that stupid okay even if you put millions of dollars in the company right they normally got to have one campaign or not so you need a bigger picture with the VSA in here now of course uh, James uh, Suroski is an author of uh, crowd power he says that if company tell us more then insider trading will be worth less, right? So company would never tell you so much information, which is quite true, you think of it, right? So that's why a lot of people are looking into insider information, especially if you have this uh, information, you will have an edge. And that's why we are trying to you know, tell all members. So bonus number one, now if you are already subscribing to our VSA uh, 360 in here, on the stock code itself, you'll see this very funny and very unique pin label, which actually tells you the buying set. Now we're going to be showing you how to use it later, but I do believe some of the example I'll show you would probably be uh, doing. Now this chart is not only special, not only uh, it has the uh, are buying and selling by the insider. You also have the endless call, all right? The endless call to buy, endless call to sell. And also I will, I will introduce this new term, what we call friendly insider versus non-friendly insider. What it simply means that there are some friendly insider will always disclose within seven days. These are what we call uh, a good corporate a follower, they follow it, you know, uh, they, they would, uh, you know, when they buy something, especially the owner, and one of them is actually Tan Srin, uh, 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 Vincent, okay, Vincent Tan, all right, which is the owner of uh, Bajaya Corp. So Tan Sri Vincent uh, always disclose it. So every time it's much easier to buy that. I think uh, the week before we did share with you with 7-Eleven and there's another a good example is JHM, uh, this uh, Dato Sri Tan 
King Seng. So whenever he buys and sells, he did always disclose on time. But there are also some companies, okay, no name disclosed, where you will see market go up and almost two years, there were no insider transaction. There's no big owner buying, no big family buying. And sometimes we find it very, very uh, uh, strange. You know, those stocks don't just don't move like that. And these are sometimes, I call it the non-friendly insider because you cannot find information on that. Even if we go to, then you can only start to close. This stock can go up, man. You see big transaction, no one, right? So we can see some of these. In my personal experience, they buy through nominees account, all right? So they're able to hide it. So by combining the strategy, insider buy and together with TA and FA, I'm using both technical, the VSA support. You can see this is actually very powerful. And of course, when you see insider selling, you want to avoid those penny stocks too, right? And when they're buying, then you will be buying that one. So let's get on to the labels, right? The two tip. All you got to do is just mouse over the two tip. They, those information will come to who is buying, what is the quantity, are they buying, are they selling? And you know, you can do all the maths from there onwards. And together with that, we have the call to buy by license analyst. This could be uh, Kenangan, this could be uh, UOB, this could be Maybank, public bank and the host of it. You'll be very interesting to see in this example in here, as soon as Inari uh, fell by 5%, this was where Broadcom uh, was uh, in uh, in a dilemma because uh, Apple decided to uh, not buy uh, some of Broadcom products, especially the Wi-Fi chip uh, going, I think 2024 onwards, and Broadcom is tied to Inari because they supply to Broadcom and immediately the share fell by 5%. So you can see immediately the next day, uh, there were three CB. CB is called to buy. CH is called to sell, all right? The blue and the black. So there were five analysts came out and uh, so-called do the damage control. I uh. <laughs> do the damage control. Oh, it's okay. Okay. No problem. This one, no problem. I think if you just Google it or you go to VSA 360, you will see that Inari, no problem. Uh, after, But at the same time, there were three buying and two selling. You want to see who is actually selling in here, right? And then this is what we call the friendly insider, uh, where they actually do a lot of disclosure uh, from here onwards. There are also some selling in here. So these three buy call that you see here, which were friendly and two call, of course, we also want to know the reason. It, uh, it does come with target price. So you can see from the buy call later on, if I have time to show you in here, the buy call is about, uh, target price is about three ringgit in here. Then they are what we call uh, transfer, off-market tran uh, events. This could be because a transfer of shares from, the, from their family members A to B, director B to C, or company A to C, uh, A to C. So these are all transaction off market stand to know too. And generally those transaction, they have some sort of maybe disclosed amount, which is not traded through the exchange. So when traded through exchange is the one. Then you also have the others, okay? Others is bonus issue. This is something that we came across. There are a couple of examples in here because if you buy some shares, uh, there is a bonus issue. Out of 10 shares, you get two shares and these are the one that you should, they get the kind of others. So keep in mind the bon uh, bonus issues generally are free shares in here. Okay, so from here onwards, you can see this labeling is very important. Now let's talk about the power of the insider buy and sell chart. Now out from here, you can have this chart called CY Park right? Definitely you'll be wondering, this CY Park uh, also kena Uma, isn't it, recently, right? Ah, this uh, Busa came in, but Busa, if you check, uh, you can see uh, there were a lot of insider buying, buying, buying. There were a lot of transfer here, all right? There were a call to buy, only one call to buy. And from then over, this is where you want to couple with a powerful VSA stage one share. So with a VSA stage one accumulation share, right? This stock, of course, have to tunggu a bit. Uh, the bugger moved 150%, no, right? From the buy call, uh, the endless buy call in December. You see, there's a December buy call here, all right? A buy call. So coupled with the, this is a very good example. When on the left-hand side, you are seeing a lot of accumulation compared to selling in here, especially in stage one share with the buy call. This is where this market will rocket in. And guess what? I'm going to give you three more, which I think has potential too, all right? Hasn't moved up yet. But that's be a, you be a judge of it, whether to see this stock is likely to go up or not. Okay, so this is definitely the power of the insider buying and selling. Uh, the next stocks we have is 
Toyo Wen. Okay, you can see Toyo Wen here. Uh, you have a lot of buying and very similar. It's up 58% from the stage one uh, after insider buying in early 2022. And this is where we talk about the early accumulation, right? We always talk about, hey, this early accumulation, we can blaja, we can study it. But who is buying? Who is selling? Ah, sekarang kita tahu sebab mereka akan uh, disclose proper buying and proper selling in here. So this is where it's important when you see this kind of uh, stocks, right? And this is where I also think, and you will agree with me, the risk to reward is low when you know we are owner are buying and uh, assuming you know the amount of buying. So, so I say that if you are investor or trader, this is the kind of information you cannot live without it. One or two occasion is okay. Right, you know the table, but you want to see accumulation, and you can see right during this low volume in here, this is where they are buying, and this stock move up in here, right? So some of you may want to focus just looking at the insider and buying, and you definitely need a stocks like this in here. Let's take a look at another one, the power from the analyst. In this case, you can see there is none here, all right? There's no buying and selling here, but there was a lot of buy call from analysts, all right? So you can see the market went through green pentagon here, a lot of buy call, buy call, buy call, buy call, still a lot of buy call going up to here. But of course, here right now that you see here on top here, right? It's a bit Stage two, la, stage two can be distribution, right? But the buy call during the accumulation stages, that's where the best is. And of course, because this is a penny stock, uh, it's gone up by 63% in here. So finally, I do agree there is some value from the endless buy call in here. A lot of buy call. So when you see a chart like this, you should oh, get excited, right? That's why I'm getting excited when I go through a lot of this uh, case study in here and sharing with you tonight for the first time, the power of VSA insider buy and sell uh, charts in here. And uh, let's take a look at another one, Tune Pro. You know Tune Pro, right? Insurance company uh, with the reopening of the market, uh, people are flying more. Insurance companies will do more, right? And you'll be surprised the CEO is buying now, all right? And Tune Pro was up from the uh, last uh, insider buy in early. This is where we talk about in here, the stage one accumulation. That's the one, right? If you can see stage one accumulation, we got one buy here, another buy here. That's pretty good. That's evidence showing you smart money accumulation. So finally, we can piece in together the smart money buying because the smart money had to disclose. I'm director A, company A, shareholder A, or shareholder B in all those. And then you have a, some level of confidence, information that you cannot leave without in here demonstrating the power of insider buying and sell in here and of course this chart has gone up 53 percent from on that onwards so two things one you have the power of the insider buying and selling you have the stage one shares which give you maximum profit low risk return and if it's a dividend with a good roby rating where can you go wrong and this is almost as perfect as the best strategy to have especially we talk about the post Chinese New Year strategy here. Something again, you cannot live without here. So let's talk about uh, the insider friendly and versus non-friendly in here. Now, of course, the non-friendly one is the one that is subjected. So when I come across a stock that goes up and goes down and doesn't have those uh, insider buying, then I treat it just more of a technical setup. I mean, pay less. So my job is to find out more friendly insider in here, right? And remember, when insider buy and sell, they always have their reason in here, right? But of course, when insider sell a lot, then there is a lack of faith. There's one of the chart recently I sold a lot when I saw CEO was, was really selling in it and I don't have to disclose the name. Many of you would uh, uh, know what I'm talking about in here, that particular company. And, and by and behold, when I see uh, CEO directors and some of the stakeholders are selling, I know they don't have confidence in the company. So why should we be coochie that a small, small fella like us have confidence? It makes sense, right? Isn't it? So that's why you want to use this information to demonstrate to yourself too in here. Now, there's a list of stock in time, JHM, CY Park, Inari, KGB. Some of these I already showed you before, but let's take a look. Uh, if you have any list that you want me to look at, because some of these I've shown you before already, uh, maybe let's look at some of our audience, especially our member already seen it before. How about the public? Okay, those public one, Yang Yamana Satu, you want me to take a look? Just pencil those in there. I'm happy to share with you and looking into it too. All right. So we want to look at the. Uh, all right. You can see the other one very interesting is Carex. Ah, Carex. Ah, you look back 12 months. Ah, banyak. You can see not Carex. 
This was the one I spotted. So you see a lot of transfer here. Ma Yen. I don't know who is Ma Yen. That's the one. Okay. If you got any stocks you want me to look at, uh, pencil those in. I'm just going to... Okay, Sardinia. We look at Sardinia. Okay. Uh, Carex is another one. Okay. Sardinia. Let's see whether Sardinia got... Sometimes we call them whether they are friendly or non-friendly. Okay. Now you can see this one is non-friendly. See from here, a lot of selling, right? But... The recent one, there was no buying at all. And the last time, anything sold any. So what we do is can scroll down three months and we pull and pull and pull. So here we just mouse over. Of course, you can open up wider. This is where we open up wider and you can see it better. So that's one of the power of V3 uh, Trade VSA. So you can move it up, move it up into here. So you can see there were a lot of selling here. And there were no buying. 10 million shares. Uh, that was 30 cents. Uh, another one. Uh, 100, uh, 1,000K, that's almost, uh, that's a lot, 1,000K, and uh, that's 1.1 million. So this Dato, okay, now we want to know who is this Dato here, then we can just go to, is that Dato just now? Apa nama ini ya? Faros, Faros, is that Faros here? Uh, we got a jackal. Ah, this one, Faros. Huh? So we can just go, click on it, and it will come out, it's Pemilik uh, Gudang, oh, this uh, jackal, uh, oh, is it? So, Sardinia is Jekyll. Oh, okay. Got tied into Jekyll. So, uh, ah, so this one is some family transformed to a leading company. So, you got the Jekyll, Momad Jekyll, Faros, who actually go into Sardinia. All right. So, you can see from here onwards, whether has it been good. He bought here, bought here, but he sold so many here. So, on the way down here, but he hasn't bought yet. Who knows? By the time they come to this, he may buy back, buy back more. So, to me right now, I see this chart. I'm pretty neutral. Chart-wise, is okay. But if I see some sort of accumulation in here, and currently, apparently, there's no disclosure in here. Sometimes, I, I, what do you think? Is this friendly insider or non-friendly insider? You let me know, okay? Ferris is CY part. Okay, so we have uh, uh, JKG. Okay, JKG. Let's look at JKG, okay? JKG. JKG land. You got uh, Tan Sri, Tan Ho Chun, or JKG. This one, lah. Uh, None. There's, there's none here. These are all 10 cent stock. And usually this kind of stock where you see a lot of uh, no volume one, uh, be very careful. Okay. I wouldn't touch this kind of share. Too low inside here. Okay. Right, David. So keep that in mind. Dayang. Let's take a look at Dayang. Good. Okay. All right, Dai Yang, we switch to a 12 month. Now, Dai Yang looks pretty interesting. You can see there's a lot of selling here, right? So let's go back to six months ago, right? There's a lot of sellings here. So you can just mouse over, you can see Usa Raya, Usa Raya, or well, a lot of selling. But recently, there's some buy call. Now, you can see from here, the buy call is from Kenangan and it's for 120 something. So if I can't see it, I just need to mouse over it open up to the bigger chart and it's e much easier for you. A buy call, 158. There's another buy call, Kenangan, 170. OSK, 150. This is 9th of January inside here. So uh, we want to see, this chart is actually very nice. Dayang is going up. There are a lot of sellers, right? Uh, there was a buy, um, buy call in here. Now, if I do see a bit of buying around here, then I will have confidence. But I see a lot of selling in here. I tend to be a bit more caution, okay? So if I'm buying from here onwards, then I'm just relying on technical setup, all right? Because we want to have that H2, especially if you are a beginner. You want to have that kind of moral support, huh? The insider are following, then this is what you want to use, okay? Yes, it's all, that's right. Uh, Nick Farris is buying another listed company in India. Okay, let's also look at DNEX, right? DNEX. S rich will pekat. Okay, we can look at that. Okay, we can. Oh yes, there are some buying here on uh, Gemma Capital. Uh. This one ah, uh. siapa ini ya? Uh? And Ma Gemma Capital. Wah, oh, siapa ini? D next. Oh, they didn't say who uh, this one. And uh, Gemma, you have to go deeper lah. Uh. Think of what they do. So have to go and look into them. Uh. Who are these fellow? So if you look back the last nine months, there were a lot of buy call. There was some buying, some selling here. Right, but since then there there wasn't any here. But of course, D next are uh, the the best evidence. Let's go back to three months here or one month. You can see buy call four million shares, four million forty eight 
and uh, 4 million so close to about 8 million now so 8 million shares and this was good after buying the 8 million shares uh, you can see uh, the market rested here right just like we learned in uh, volume spread then we have a cns confirm no demand and that's very powerful too right so that's what this in kind of information right if you see 58 right you can bang on it and it's rated six hour eight in here use it to your best of ability okay use it for best ability okay we'll take a look another one per cut I'm going to share with you some others that you may not aware of, okay? So, of course, we can look at the other five, other uh, things in here. We go back to 12 months. There is none. There is no information at all at per cut, all right? So, this is where I talk about whether this is friendly party or non-friendly party. You cannot find anything about it, one, all right? And because of this kind of thing, so generally, I don't want to uh, uh, trade uh, uh, the, the stocks, all right? Because I want to have the insider buying. So you get the point in here, all right? Okay. All right, great. We, we cover some of the stocks that you guys were, were talking about. Great. Now, the power of insider buying and selling is great. This is where I talk about Carex, okay? We all know Carex has the greatest comeback in here, the condom maker, all right? And it's up 120% since the last insider buying in October. We all know October last it was very bad right very very bad summa bumati but guess what the ceo the insider were buying why they know their company is worth more of course we all every day look at the price right when we buy something high when the price go low kena sangkut we say oh sakit hati la i lost 20 percent i lost 30 percent i lost 40 000 i lost 50 000 all right correct no right so this is where but this owner the carex owner they were buying, you can see, right? Since then, up 120%. Of course, some of you may also apply this to top glove, right? You can buy, but it may be a while uh, uh, that, that the return to profitability must be there. So, right? I know uh, Lim Wee Chai is buying a lot. Top glove every day, buy, buy, buy. But stock's still going down in here. Who knows? One day, it will follow very, very similar like that in here. But we must know, also put a bit of fundamental, huh? Uh, fundamental to the stock that or if it's a speculation pure speculation if the owner buy then they push up but we all know lim Chai buy and sell buy and sell buy 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 also no use right so this is really one power the stage one accumulation s1 so make sure you pair that together with the volume spread analysis and you can get it up and this is another one called ncom uh, ny you can see lots of buying lots of buying early on but it went only in the january when the started market pull up so again going back to whether you believe the post chinese year 2023 is going to rally or not now, if you think our KLCI will break above 1500, so a lot of the insider buying, they already buy, which means demand already being sucked up. So there's not much uh, uh, seller ready to sell. So when the insider already buy, they suck up a lot of the, what you call the floating shares. Huh? Very easy for them to push up one. All right. So this is the mechanics behind it. And on top of that, if you're buying, buying on dips, buying on pullbacks, that will give you an edge. Buying on what we call a uh, 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 trend is up, which is what I call a railway track. And all those right, will give you the power of this within your hand. Imagine you have this power right, to check every stock. Isn't that wonderful? Especially those of you who has been our VSA subscriber, this is definitely something that you can use it together in here. So if you look at Encom, it's up 26% since December 2022. Now remember, I talked about KLCI, it didn't go anywhere, right? Minus 0.6% earlier on, right? Or almost unchanged. But if you were, uh, 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 you know, sort of buying some of these stocks earlier on where you see there is a uh, uh, power of insider buying then bullet the bang lah. <laughs> 26 percent inside here and uh, let's look at c uh, what computer forms yeah computer form now computer forms in here i'm going to ask you do you think computer forms bullet night that you see here there's a lot of selling there was a few buying on the left hand side then the market went up then when it came back down the first sell then still selling as the market break he sell here he buy a bit more but the recent one sorry i move here there's a few more buying in here but right now it could be a stage one or stage three so check it out this one in here we'll see fm move higher or lower of course from a chart uh technical wise this thing may break out but if it does have a blue pentagon and you put a small stop loss if the market break cut but if the market go up you can see insider buying just keep with it isn't that a good risk or not what do you think if it is give me a thumbs up in here all right so why are people so appalled at insider, right? Means uh, what they call mandidate. Uh, the Malay word is mandidate. So they always say, man, 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 what's that? Uh? 
Mahinas are ah, oh, the word I always learn in Basa. They always say, hey, insider trading is no good. Insider trading cannot be allowed. But when they have this information, they are quick to trade on it. And right now, you have this power of insider buying to it. Especially now you can be a bit more selective. Right? When you hear this and hear that, you check out the insider buying or not. Whether people are buying or not. And look at the point accumulation, see whether it's in stage one. Especially those of you who have learned the VSA setup through our uh, courses that we have done on our masterclass. This will pair very well for that one in here. All right. So bonus number two, if you have the VSA, especially in two, I, I, this is not, we don't have much time to it, but also for our momentum trader, if you are advanced, there are a couple of trades you can use in here. And this is something that we release for very short term trading. You can see from this trade spotted on the uh, uh, 11.40 at 155, within uh, one day, went up to 162. These are very, very fast momentum trading. Again, part and parcel of VSA 360, whether you are uh, advanced, you are a beginner, you have all of this in here, right in here. And bonus number three, a lot of bonus because I'm going to share with you some strategy. Going on. Now, if you are medium term VSA uh, 360 investor, like many of our member, we have a new strategy in here is to survive a market crash, especially we talk about the context, right? If we know many of the public there, they don't want to cut loss one, just like, you know, even, even though you have insider. So this is where we bring in bonus number three for the new members in here for medium term is to do looking at smart Roby. They have good ratings, five or more. And these are low PE stocks with very high return on equity, good dividend, good growth uh, prospect. But we added in one new one. Right, which is what we call the monthly maintenance. Okay, monthly maintenance, we call it a monthly rebalancing profit and remove underperform. Okay, so what it simply says is that we will look for these shares, we put it up there. If it's performed, let the profit run. If it doesn't perform or if it's stagnant, we will cut loss and move to the next stock. So that way we always have healthy stock. And one of the reasons why, if should the market crash, right, we already remove those what we call uh, sunco shares. All right, and if those of you who are running, you get a dividend on top of it. We find that this is important. If 2023 is not going anywhere, it's going to go sideways. This strategy will definitely do well, right? On top of the momentum strategy in here. Now, this is a stock that I updated also on the 11th of January. We pick the stock every uh, beginning of the month. We go through the Roby rating, 5 out of 8. I and my team will pick this. You can see RCE Capital on the 11th of January was up 9%. Uh, we updated on the 30th, right? And this will be based on weekly Pentagon stock idea with monthly rebalancing. And you can see RC Capital went up by 11%. Uh, right below here, we have a narration. Any stock that we take out or don't take out, we put it in here. We took out P, Cam and Cam Lung. They only lost about 2-3%, but they were non-performing. So we don't want it to you know, get worse. So we just took them out and we replaced it by Dufu, uh, Alliance Bank and... 7-Eleven, all right, 7-Eleven, we added in on 30th of January. Again, we're going to go back to uh, end of February to see some of these stocks, those of you who perform well, we keep it and not end. So far, RCE Capital, of course, at one point in time, when we see the market has a bit high, we will take profit. We will also update on this list here, all right? But any update that we do will be on month end. So if you are the VSA member and this process, we put it in our notice board so you can know what we call the monthly rebalancing. At the same time, we also apply to the US market because we also want our member to be competent on the US market in here. And you can see this is also picking stock with Roby rating 4 out of 8. And yesterday was a good day. We pick it up on the 30th of December. And just immediately on one day, we have 3% return. Although Philip 66, which is actually uh, energy stocks had a bad uh, earnings was down 5%, but overall is still pretty much unchanged here. So we buy uh, fairly even. This is a cost in uh, US dollar. I apologize for this. So I just have to change this to a US dollar here. It's not in ringgit. These are all in US dollar, all right? So it's suitable for So it's suitable for people who wanted dividend, okay? Dividend and you want to diversify, okay, let's say. And right now, I think one of the broker I'm using, Rakuten, has very low brokerage commission in here. Another one, SGX2, okay? Uh, we had IFAS, 
uh, Sembawang Corp, Marine, and these are all with Weekly Pentagon, okay? Weekly Pentagon, right? And this is where our team will pick it up. We use Weekly Pentagon to go in, and if it doesn't do well, or uh, what we'll do a rebalancing and just remove it in here. Even though uh, we have one or two percent, uh, we will take it out. We need to, we need to cut loss, okay? Because these are very strong Roby rating before with low PE and good ROE that pay dividends. So it will have a very good support pair with the technical VSA signal in here. Again, another chance to diversify into Sing Dollar, right? And Sing Dollar, you can do it through the low brokerage, through the cross platform in here. So all in all, we want to prepare our members, whether there is a market crash, you can switch to the, uh, what we call the high dividend MC, market uh, masterclass portfolio for KLAC, SGI and US. And for those of you who are more of the advanced trader, the top value intraday. And of course, for the maximum of profit where we have the good VSA set up is the insider buy and sell guide. And this will be the access uh, 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 to it with our first half 2023 bonus in here. Now, in many ways, we find that US market do offer a better coverage uh, for it to diversify. So you can see before, uh, US worse is only three years in a row, right? One bad year come with one good year. But Malaysia, three or so bad year, two or so bad year, right? I'm not sure so far uh, we, we have another year or bad year or not. Maybe this year the market may improve. But if you look from here, common sense will know you need to diversify. It gives you a better end. So tip number one, market boom. Right, if what I said early on for 2023, the first half, we will see a boom and a globally diversified portfolio. And right now the ringgit is a bit stronger, but eventually it will fall back to a, a weaker ringgit. So capitalize on that one too. Now, tip number two is something I talk about on the 4th of January, the beginning for the first quarter 2023, energy, technology, and finance. These are still the three sectors. But right now, if you combine this uh, sector together with insider and buying, I'm going to share with you, there's insider buying for Yin Soon, insider buying for Dialog, but the insider selling is for Costa and insider selling for Dayang. So you know from a setup, from an insider which is the one you want to be buying, okay? So that's make us much, much smarter, not only looking at the sector, looking at the uh, sector, looking at the setup, we also want to see insider. So you have all this edge on your side. So chances of making money definitely will be better. Now, if you look from a technology sector, which is I've talked about in here, right? Uh, we have insider selling for Great Tech, insider selling for Penta, and only insider is buying for Unisem. So I may be interested in Unisem right now in here, being a semiconductor, right? And may give you the kind of edge in here. All right, so why market set to move beyond 20, uh, uh, beyond the 200 day moving average that we've seen on KLCI and also in here? Partly is that a lot of bad news has surfaced. Intel and TSMC recent poll earnings has came out and the market is holding on. It did build a base back in June, 2022. Now, depending on what happening tonight, whether uh, Jerome Powell say that he's going to pause interest rate or he's going to reenact the 25 basis point, we have to see how the market react to it immediately uh, towards on Friday, right? Now, we all know that the inflations are coming down in here and then that is going to have an impact to overall market that we see in 2023. It's going to be different from what we see in 2022. That to me, that's for certain. Now we are also in the final stages of the winter war between Russia and Ukraine. And right now, if you listen to news, the Russian has really pushed through to buck more and spring is coming. So the war will continue, right? So the question is, those new tanks, those new weapons, what's going to happen in here? Uh, we are likely to come to the beginning of the end of the war than anything else. It is coming to February 24th, which is another one month, will be one year after the war. And we have seen the cost is really costing uh, Putin's standpoint in here. Will it continue? And so forth. So for my last slide in here, which is, I call it the post-Chinese year 2023 rally, uh, 2023 rally strategy in here. And some of the things you want to use is that you, assuming the bottom uh, has formed in June 2022 and 20% from the market, uh, we will see the US market rally to double digit. All right. Because if it, we drop uh, almost uh, looking for S&P 500, we dropped 19%. So this year should be back to double digit. KLCI is lagging, so he has to play catch up, assuming it breaks through the one fine. What better way, especially if you are a beginner, use the insider buying stock idea to buy that. Uh, be ready to buy uh, for the 
through the top three sector for the first quarter in here. And if you are advanced user, use the advanced uh, uh, momentum trading. That will give you very short term income for the one or two day of trading. That way you help you to do much, much better in here. So bonus okay now the top insider buying idea right now we good set up these are the three this is will be one of the new uh option or, or screener that we'll build into the second half of the year and right now i'm testing it out but i found out there are three companies very good chinhing inta and perak uh transport you can see here chinhing is dato Sri chiang bing tech uh we got uh perak transport you all know lah and the eddie ong Chu Bing, the, the billionaire who caused Hectech shoot up. So he's buying on the 27th of January, 6.2 million. Wow, that's a lot of share. Huh? So $6 million, right? And CFM also, Tan Dato Sri Dato Pang Chao Huat, 2 million share. Ah, that's about 4 million already, right? So keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at Ching Heng. You can see there's a lot of buying. That got me very excited in here. If I'm a small penny stock trader i would might trade this because you got some buying in here but remember not all the time you when they bought here you can see the market no volume just sustained through and finally turning up in here it's maybe reasonable if i buy this i'll expect the market to move up right and uh, if it does move up i have a certain profit target then i'll go for it second one to demonstrate the power of the buy and sell you can see there was a lot of buying there's a lot of transfer internal transfer and right now i just moved the slide in here this is the buying that was done by eddie ong uh, the 6.2 million in here still moving sideways if you want to take uh, opportunity you want to wait for the green pentagon but if you do break below here the 120 you want to cut i think that's a pretty decent trade right now in here for perak transit Right, and remember the last buying uh, in October, the market went up by 44% from in here. Right now it's very quiet. The smart money is already accumulation. You can see it go to three uh, consecutive buying and then they push up. You see three buying then push up. So you might want to wait for two more buying and that's why you want to subscribe to the power of the insider and buying and selling in here. And last but not least is Chin Hing. You can see Chin Hing uh, every day. So many people buy. Haha, <laughs> this one every day going up on this one can go in and if you go in and buy let's see this market continue to go up all right of course end of the month february we're going to come back and look and do this stock and see what it is telling us uh, the power of the insider buy and sell for Chin Hin. so those are the three stocks that i have for you tonight and i hope that uh, you enjoy some of the uh, slide in here both educational that you all learn something about it and uh, take note Chin Hin was up 46 percent uh, from the last insider buy and the whole point you want to be buying in stage one shares all right in stage one shares in here and this is what we have in here and i, I do know some of this com company they don't make money but if the insider are buying why not because these are proper transaction which is part of the company act 2016. so what i hope uh tonight will share with you uh will give you a good taste of the post Chinese year uh, 2023 rally in here. Now remember doing well for 2023 is going to be tough, but it doesn't have to be this way. With the insider buying, depending on guy, you have the power of the insider and buying. And I do think that going forward, uh, the KLCI may correct, as I said before, the Pentagon guy timeline is on already break down here. We may see a red Pentagon. If it does, a lot of stock is just going to stuck halfway. But if we do see a continuation, then we will likely to see a post Chinese year rally. All going to depend on tonight, uh, 10.30. I think the market now is going to open right now. So you can observe from the US market right in here. So the seven framework that we have to build your trading value, right? And of course, we continue to power our VSA 362 under this segment here. I call it the trading system tools, all right? The power of the insider and buying sell chart, that will put you ahead. Not many provider has this. We, I would say we are one of the first provider. I be, do believe eventually some of them will have a pretty different version of their own insider buy. After all, the information that we have are pretty available from the BUSA. It's just a matter of time, but of course, combining with volume spread analysis our screener we are one of the best in the market right i think you will make your money back by using the power of the insider and buying so if not uh we really uh want to ensure all our students and our members is uh, well trained on that one so we do tell them no trade it with uh 
some paper money and then eventually see us coach and some of the coach we do research and these are some of the things that I share with you in here will put you in the, into it so in summary right 2022 I think it's already market bottom we are on a crossroad I think likely to lead to some boom with of course with some sideway market in both the US and the Malaysian market in here I don't think we're going to have a market crash not in the immediate period it depends how maybe if the Russian launch nuclear missile you know we never know about that then market crash uh, I think more important not only getting the education but get the right to a lot of people get a lot of education from watching video or attending seminar here and there but if you don't have the tools like the VSA 360 then you're missing the bigger part of the picture in here so with VSA 360 smart Roby Pentagon you can buy low sell high with insider buying and selling guide right now all right so this is where we continue to build our tools in here and of course if you like what we have do give us a review on our Google payroll and if you those of you who are ready you can subscribe to our system here so you get the first mover advantages in here and don't forget to subscribe to our telegram chat room and for those of you who are not convinced try our 10 day free trial which is available on our website in here or you can just uh, send me an email or call our support line for that one to get a free so thank you very much I do hope that the three bonus uh, stock tip right see how well they do because we do see a lot of insider buying and I'll see you on Friday all right thank you for coming and thank you for staying uh, although I went over by five minutes in here so I'll see you on coming Friday we will talk more on the VSA 360 bye bye